ജെ കെ ആർ അക്കാഡമിയിലേക്ക് എല്ലാവർക്കും ഒരിക്കൽ കൂടി സ്വാഗതം ആദ്യം തന്നെ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് ഉണ്ട് നിങ്ങൾ ആദ്യമായിട്ടാണ് ചാനൽ കാണുന്നതെങ്കിലോ ഇതുവരെ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല എങ്കിലോ ഇന്ന് തന്നെ സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ചെയ്യുക അതോടൊപ്പം തന്നെ ബെൽബട്ടൺ ക്ലിക്ക് ചെയ്താൽ മാത്രമേ ഞാനിന്ന് ക്ലാസ്സുകൾ അപ്പോൾ തന്നെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് നോട്ടിഫിക്കേഷൻ ലഭ്യമാവുകയുള്ളൂ കേരള ബാങ്ക് ക്ലർക്ക് പരീക്ഷ വരാൻ പോവുകയാണ് അല്ലേ ഇനി വളരെ കുറച്ച് ദിവസം മാത്രമാണ് നമുക്ക് പഠിക്കാൻ വേണ്ടിയിട്ട് കിട്ടുന്നത് അപ്പോൾ നമുക്ക് അതിൻ്റെ റിവിഷൻ ക്ലാസ്സാണ് ഇപ്പോൾ നടന്നുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുന്നത് ഇന്നലത്തെ റിവിഷൻ ക്ലാസ് നിങ്ങൾ കണ്ടെന്ന് വിചാരിക്കുന്നു ഇന്ന് നമ്മൾ രണ്ടാമത്തെ റിവിഷൻ ക്ലാസ് ആണ് നമുക്ക് ക്ലാസ്സിലേക്ക് എടുക്കാൻ ആയത്തെ കുറിച്ച് നോക്കാം ദ ഡാഷ് വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ആസ് എ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഷെയർ ഹോൾഡേഴ്സ് ബാങ്ക് ദ ഡാഷ് വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ആസ് എ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഷെയർ ഹോൾഡേഴ്സ് ബാങ്ക് ദ ആർ ബി ഐ വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ആസ് എ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഷെയർ ഹോൾഡേഴ്സ് ബാങ്ക് ആർ ബി ഐ വാസ് എസ്റ്റാബ്ലിഷ്ഡ് ആസ് എ പ്രൈവറ്റ് ഷെയർ ഹോൾഡേഴ്സ് ബാങ്ക് അടുത്ത ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ monetary policy in india is formulated by monetary policy in india is formulated by monetary policy committee monetary policy in india is formulated by monetary policy committee adu dosi the dash banks owned by the government play a predominant role in the indian banking sector the dash banks owned by the government play a predominant role in the indian banking sector public sector aanu public sector banks aanu answer the public sector banks owned by the government play a predominant role in the indian banking sector adu question in the initial years of planning rbi had limited dash in the initial years of planning rbi had limited autonomy limited autonomy in the initial years of planning rbi had limited autonomy adu question growth with dash is one of the important objectives of the monetary policy of rbi growth with dash is one of the important objectives of the monetary policy of rbi price stability growth with the price stability is one of the important objectives of the monetary policy of rbi adu question the dash school argued in favor of the central bank to regulate the banking system and ensure stability the dash school argued in favor of the central bank to regulate the banking system and ensure stability rational school the rational school argued in favor of the central bank to the to regulate the banking system and ensure stability adu dosi the dash created by commercial banks is controlled by central bank the dash created by commercial banks is controlled by central bank the credit created by commercial banks in controlled by central bank credit created by uh, commercial banks is controlled by central bank adu question the central bank uses both quantitative and qualitative measures to achieve the various objectives of dash policy the central bank uses both quantitative and qualitative measures to achieve the various objectives of dash policy end policy ana monetary policy the central bank uses both quantitative and qualitative measures to achieve the various objectives of monetary policy during dash repo rate is increased during recession repo rate is increased during recession repo rate is increased adu question public debit is mobilized during public debit is mobilized during inflation public debit is uh, mobilized by inflation adu question the insurance sector is regulated by the insurance sector is uh, regulated by irda insurance sector is regulated by irda adu question india's financial sector has dash regulators india's financial sector has multiple regulators india's financial sector has multiple regulators adu question 
the dash act uh, was passed in the year 1949 the dash act was passed in the year 1949 banking regulation act was passed in the year 1949 the banking regulation act was passed in the year 1949 <coughs> Osmos O S M O S Osmos was introduced by RBI in the year Osmos e was introduced by RBI in the year 1995 Osmos was introduced by RBI in the year 1995 The biggest threat of e-banking is the biggest threat of e-banking is hacking of websites and accounts The biggest threat of e-banking is hacking of websites and accounts. Ardoshin. Financial markets are getting dashed due to globalization. Financial markets are getting integrated due to globalization. Financial markets are getting integrated due to globalization. Ardoshin. IBRD stands for IBRD stands for International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. IBRD stands for International Bank for Reconstruction and Development. Under SEBI, Dash has grown significantly. Under SEBI, Stock Exchanges has grown significantly. Under SEBI, Stock Exchanges has grown significantly ardoshin dash rate is the rate at which central bank discounts the securities of commercial banks dash rate is the rate at which central bank discounts the securities of commercial banks liquidity rate ana liquidity rate liquidity rate is the rate at which central bank discounts the securities of commercial banks ardoshin Dash refers to buying and selling of government securities by the central bank. Dash refers to buying and selling of government securities by the central bank. Open market operation. Open market operations refers to buying and selling of government securities by the central bank. Dash is a part of non-banking institution. Dash is a part of non-banking institution. Mutual funds. Mutual funds is the part is a part of non-banking institution. Ardoshin. The first Indian governor of RBI was the first Indian governor of RBI was C D Deshmukh. C D Deshmukh, the first Indian governor of RBI. The first Indian governor of RBI was CD Deshmukh Ardoshin Dash Commission recommended the establishment of RBI Dash Commission recommended the establishment of RBI Royal Hilton Eng Commission Royal Hilton Eng Commission recommended the establishment of RBI Royal Hilton Eng Commission recommended the establishment of RBI Ardoshin Dash is regarded as a queen of Indian financial system RBI RBI is regarded as a queen of Indian financial system RBI is regarded as a queen of Indian financial system Ardoshin Dash is the first development financial institution in India Dash is the first development financial institution in India IFCI IFCI is the first development financial institution in India Ardoshin IDBI was established in IDBI was established in 1964 IDBI was established in 1964 Ardoshin which is the largest commercial banks in India which is the largest commercial banks in India State Bank of India State Bank of India is the largest commercial bank in India Ardoshin Urban cooperative banks are also called as urban cooperative banks are also called as primary cooperative banks urban ba cooperative banks are also called as primary cooperative banks ardoshin 
what is the full form of nbfc what is the full form of nbfc non banking financial company what is the full form of nbfc non banking financial company adutha question who who insures banks in india who insures banks in india dicgc dicg cgc insures banks in india d i c g c insures banks in india adutha question nbfi as uh, refers to non banking financial institution non banking financial institution nbfi uh, refers to non banking financial institution adutha question when a deposit of money is received by the banker the banker becomes the dash when a deposit of money is received by the banker the banker becomes the debtor when a deposit of money is received by the banker the banker becomes the debtor when a deposit of money is received by the banker the customer becomes the dash when a deposit of money is received by the banker the customer becomes the creditor when a deposit of money is received by the banker the customer becomes a creditor which bank is called lender of last resort which bank is called lender of last resort central bank central bank is called lender of last resort central bank is called lender of last resort which is considered as the mother of all central banks which is considered as the mother of all central bank bank of england bank of england is considered as the mother of all central banks bank of england is considered as the mother of all central banks adutha question ibrd is also known as ibrd is also known as world bank ibrd is also known as world bank adutha question federal bank is a dash federal bank is a private sector bank thettikirada federal bank is a private sector bank adutha question bank of baroda is an example for dash bank of baroda is an example for public sector bank bank of baroda is an example of public sector bank adutha question when was hdfc bank established when was hdfc bank established 1994 1994 when was hdfc bank established 1994 adutha question when was s bank set up in india when was s bank set up in india 2004 when was s bank set up in india 2004 adutha question which is the biggest private sector bank in india which is the biggest private sector bank in india hdfc hdfc is bank is the biggest private sector bank in india adutha question which is the largest foreign bank in india which is the largest foreign bank in india standard chartered bank standard chartered bank is the largest foreign bank in india adutha question the na act 1881 came into force with effect from the na act uh, 1881 came into force with effect from first day of march 1882 in the na act 1881 came into force with effect from first day of march 1882 adutha question balance sheet is the summary of balance sheet is the summary of financial position balance sheet is the summary of financial position what is bank rate the rate at which commercial banks borrow what is bank rate the rate at which commercial banks borrow adutha question what is the cash reserve ratio what is the cash reserve ratio the fraction of the deposits that the fraction of the deposits that adutha question the micro finance movement in india has been initiated by the micro finance movement in india has been initiated by nabard the micro finance movement in india has been initiated by nabard adutha in micro finance the demand side constraints is in micro finance the demand side constraints is lack of awareness the micro finance 
the demand side constraints is a lack of awareness what is repo rate what is repo rate in the, the interest rate at which the central bank of a country lends money to commercial banks the rate interest rate at which the central bank of a country lends money to commercial banks etrayani ippol the repo rate 6.50 percentage adu thoshin the reverse repo rate the reverse repo rate is the interest rate at which the reserve bank of india rbi borrows money from commercial banks by selling securities uh, the interest rate uh, at which the RBI borrows money from commercial banks by selling securities. If the reverse repo rate is 3.35%. In this class, I will tell you about this class. I will tell you about this class.